right back in with the Raspberry Pi Zero. This is the Raspberry Pi Zero that just came out from uh, so it's the first release of the Raspberry Pi Zero. And I'm going to compare three different uh, dongles, uh, OTG dongles, okay. Uh, in order to plug in any USB device like a keyboard or a memory card or Wi-Fi adapter, uh, there's this little guy here, this USB host. Okay, this is a USB host, but it's a micro USB connector here. So you're going to need a dongle. So I got the first one here, this guy. Uh, that I got on Amazon. I got all three of them from Amazon, but this one I don't remember where I got it from. It's got no name, so there's no way to look it up. But it's this type. Uh, very useful. Uh, it's a little not as compact, but uh, as the other ones, as you can see, as you will see. Uh, but this goes in easily, like any other micro USB cable. You plug that in and you plug in, let's say, a Wi-Fi dongle here or a full-size dongle here. Okay. Or I have an unpowered hub here. I took out the SD card so we don't do any damage. It's a 32 gigabyte card that I got from uh, Micro Center, let's see, Micro Center brand, uh, works well with the uh, Raspberry Pi, I haven't had any issues with it, um, alright, so that's one, so it works well, but it's a little long as you can see, uh, the second one I got also from Amazon, uh, it's got no name, but it uh, comes in twos, and uh, it's just all the, the information I got on there. Okay, there's no other information in the back. So, plug it in, see how it works. And I'll notice though, um, the, when you plug it in, like, and then usually you have this little clip here, this little springy thing. When you plug it in so that it doesn't come off easily, it's normally got the little spring. This one is just a little bump here, two bumps. But it works, I mean, it's, it's just a little observation. Mini uh, HDMI cable that I got here plugged in. Um, just a little miscellaneous information. So, yeah, it does go in. Let's see, it does go in, and you can plug in uh, an EDI Max. Uh, EDI Max, this is uh, pretty popular on Amazon. Uh, it works with a Raspberry Pi without any configuration, you just plug it in and it works. So, let's try that in there. It does go in. Not easily, but let's go ahead and sticks out a bit because uh, it's really shallow. The uh, OTG cable, here, the OTG adapter is very really shallow. It's in there. Right out. And uh, a full size dongle won't really. Not sure. Yeah, but kind of, not really. It's not very safe. So you're going to need, if you look, you're going to need a, uh, uh, a hub. So then it's, it does work for the, oh, the other thing is it's very really tight. So you need a very really slim cable, uh, micro USB charger cable, should be as thin as possible. Because it's really tight, there's no wiggle space. See, so it doesn't go anywhere. No gap anywhere, so it's a, it's a very tight fit.
it does work. <laughs> Not easy, huh? So, a uh, third one. This little guy, uh... At least it's got a logo there. At least, uh, at least, <laughs> at least we know where it's coming from. It's an it's an unknown, but it's information I got there. And this one's really nice. This comes with a little jewel case. Comes with a nice little jewel case here. Okay. This thing is really nice about this little guy. It's a, it's tiny. How small it is. Someone posted it. Someone posted this on uh, on uh, uh, RaspberryPi.com. It's really nice and compact. It's nice, but it's small. It's really small, so you gotta be careful with it because you can easily plug it in the wrong way. Like I got a Wi-Fi dongle here. You could plug it in the wrong way and short the Pi. See the pins will come in contact with the shield and short everything here. So you gotta make sure you plug it in the right way. That's it. Okay, it fits in flushed. And uh, you gotta make sure it comes in contact with the pins. As you can see, the four pins here. Make sure it comes in contact with the pins here. The other side is just a shield. Okay. So you want the four pins to come in contact. The thick side. See, there's a thick side and there's a thin side. And make sure this is just the bottom half of that. So you want to make sure it goes in there. Okay, so let's plug it in and see what it does. So it does go in there, and, uh, and it does leave you quite a bit of a gap see, between the charger and the uh, USB host. There is a gap. Okay. So it's extremely compact, and you can just plug in the Wi-Fi adapter directly in there. And still there's a gap. So there's a slight gap there. It comes right up. Uh, full size. Let's see if it's no, this is not going to work. So you'll need a hub if you want to plug in anything else. And the hub goes in there nicely. Okay, the hub goes in there nicely. You can plug in other things. Uh, a dongle. Uh, Whatever else. When it comes out, it's a little tricky because uh, you sh you're gonna need to unpower everything and need to pull out the power cable before you do that because you can easily. There's no way to easily take it out. Because it's so small, there's no, there's not much you could grip. <laughs> so there's the three. So there's the three adapters. Uh, OTG adapters. And I, I prefer these two guys for the Pi Zero. Not that this one's no good, but this is good also, but it's a little tight. If you have a fat uh, charger cable, you, you won't be able to plug that in there. So you're gonna need one of these guys. And I'll show you where I got it from, actually. All right, so I got it from Amazon. This is what it looks like. All right. 
Amazon. It's a little, a very small one, and it's got some very nice reveals. The other one, okay, in case, in case you like the white one, okay, and um, also got some good reviews. But for the Pi Zero, I would recommend this guy or. This guy or this guy. Okay, thanks for watching.